Yummy Mon. The Pied Piper, Part Two. The Pied Piper led all the rats to the river. He kept playing the pipe with a beautiful sound to lure the rats. Oh my! Look, all the rats are diving into the river. This is unbelievable. When the Pied Piper went into the river, the rats followed him, and all of them were drowned. And so the whole city became free from rats. Now I got rid of all the rats, and I suppose that you will give me the thousand gold coins. You know that the promise has to be kept. The Pied Piper said to the mayor, but the mayor and the Congress of Hamelin changed their minds. How could we expect that he would get rid of all those rats? A thousand gold coins seems to be too much. So maybe we can just give him twenty. <coughs> What do you mean? We promised you the reward, but not a thousand gold coins. We will give you twenty coins, and our deal is done. The mayor threw twenty golden coins under the feet of the piper. Sir, you are going to regret this. I'm sure. The piper left the coins and walked away. After then, the whole city was peaceful like in the old days. It was all because the rats were gone away from the town. Then one night, when it was dark outside, the Pied Piper stood in the middle of the town square. The piper soon started to play his pipe. The sound of the pipe spread all over the town like a fog. Then all the children in the town rubbed their eyes and woke up. However, the adults seemed to not be able to hear the pipe. Soon, the town square was full of children. All the children started to follow the piper. They enjoyed listening to the pipe and danced. The pied piper took all the children, walked over a hill, crossed the river, and went far away from the city. At last, they reached a huge cave under a mountain. The piper and the children went inside the cave. And no one could see them ever again. The next morning, all the adults realized that all the children were gone and fell in sorrow. Suddenly, one boy cried and said, <coughs> "The Pied Piper showed up. It took all the children last night. I was about to follow him too, but I missed them because I couldn't walk fast." Now. There was neither laugh nor joy in the town without any children. All the adults regretted that they didn't keep the promise of the Pied Piper.